Hi friends, welcome to Curie Electronics. Today we are learning Millman's theorem. This is a very simple theorem. In detail not required, but when some problems comes to solve, we need Millman's theorem. It makes our life easy. So we will learn Millman's theorem. What is what is Millman's theorem? What is Millman's theorem? See, we have if if the circuit the circuit is consists of a number of parallel branches, then we make use of Millman's theorem. So this is one parallel branch. We have one more parallel branch. Like this, we have a number of branches. We have a number of branches. So we will take it as R1, V1, R2, V2. This is Rn, Vn. That means in between there are many branches, many parallel branches. So this can be, this circuit can be replaced just like a turbulent circuit. So we have to find the voltage and the R equivalent. So this circuit can be replaced like this. One resistor like a turbulent equivalent. Turbulent equivalent and one voltage source. This we can take call it as VTH and this all we can call it as RTH. So this circuit we should be able to replace with simplify like a turbulent equivalent circuit. Now, now we want to write. Now what is what is V? We need V, V and we need RTH or R equivalent. So volt V, VTH. Here what is VTH? How do you find out? That is what is voltage? The voltage we can write it as what is voltage? Voltage we can write it as I into R, I multiplied by R. This we can write it as I divided by 1 by R. So we will get the voltage. The similarly, I will write here V1 by R1, I am writing I1, plus V2 by R2, Vn by Rn. This is what? This is the I. Divided by 1 by R I will take. That is 1 by R1, plus 1 by R2, plus 1 by R3. So when this R1 goes up, it will get multiplied like a like similarly V equal to I into R. Similar way it will get multiplied. Now what is R equivalent? R equivalent equal to what? R equal to equal to these all resistors are in parallel. So 1 divided by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 gives the R equivalent. R equivalent. It goes up to 1 by Rn. So whenever we have a circuit with parallel branches, we can use Millman's theorem to simplify the circuit. Now what is Millman's theorem? Now we understood whenever parallel branches are there, we can use the Millman's theorem. So what is Millman's theorem? Millman's theorem. Millman's theorem. Millman's theorem. 
when a number of when a number of sources that is v1 comma v2 comma up to vn number of sources with number of sources having internal internal resistance internal resistance r1 r2 up to rn are connected and these all sources with internal resistor are connected in parallel are connected are connected in parallel are connected in parallel parallel now it can be it can be replaced replaced by a single voltage source single voltage source single voltage source it can be replaced by a single voltage source in series with in series in series with single resistor just like a traveling circuit single resistor single resistor and then you will connect the load now this is our Milbert's theorem Milbert's theorem will have a number of parallel branches with these sources with internal resistance so once we know vth and r r equivalent we can use the we can connect the load and solve the solve for current now we will take a simple problem to understand simple problem to understand the theorem simple problem to understand the theorem now we have two voltage sources with internal resistance this is 10 volt 2 ohm and this is 10 volt 3 ohm we have to find what is the what is v here let find the voltage here this is 12 volt 3 ohms now we will apply v equivalent to find v equivalent this is the question voltage we have to find so to find v we will use to find v we use milbank's theorem what is milbank's theorem what how do you find the voltage uh, v vth itself we can take it no issue vth equal to what is our vth what is the equation v1 by r1 v1 by r1 plus v2 by r2 this form is easy to remember see 1 by r1 equal to what g g also we can write okay now what is uh, then 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 once we solve this we will get the answer for for the v now v equal to what v is equal to v v equal to v1 r1 what is v 10 by 2 plus 12 by 3 we have to see when we solve the problem we have to consider the algebra algebra we have to consider because plus if this is reversed plus and minus reversed then it will come minus 12 by 3 1 by 1 by r1 what is the value of 1 by r1 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 which equals to 6 
which is LCM. So 10 multiplied by 3 plus 12 multiplied by 2. 6 LCM. Then 1, 3, 3 plus 2. So 6, 6 cancels. I'll write it here. 10, 10 multiplied by 30, 30 plus 24, 54. Fifty four by six, fifty four by five, fifty four by five will get here. So, what is fifty four by five? Fifty four divided by five it comes to ten point eight volt. So, ten point eight volt, ten point eight volt is the voltage this V. Okay, V equal to ten point eight volt. So if you look here, this is the easiest, easy form to remember. Or else we can write what VTH equal to, I can write it as V1 G1 plus V2 G2. That's the conductance. The form of conductance also we can write. The denominator what will be? G1 plus G2. The form of conductance also we can write it as. I think we will solve one more problem. This is the first part, so no more complexity and not giving any more complex problems here. The second part, there will be complex problems. Now we'll see one, one gate problem we'll see, solve. That is 50 ohm, we have one 50 ohm resistor plus minus, there's a 200 volt. 200 volt, 50 ohm. Then we have one 40 ohm resistor plus minus this 160 volt, this 40 ohm. Again, we have one uh, one more resistor, one more parallel branch. Okay. Parallel branch. It is negative here. Positive is reversed. Hundred volt. Hundred volt. And this is twenty five ohm. Now one more parallel branch is there. That is twenty twenty ohm. Twenty ohm. Eighty volt. Eighty volt. The question is, uh, there is one external one resistor is there, that is, yeah, that is 20, 20 ohm, and this also 20 ohm. What is the current through this current I? We had to find the current I. This was uh, to the gate 2019-2019 question. Now using Milman's theorem, easily we can solve it. So we will write the, we first we will find the, we will remove the load and find the V here, what is the voltage here. Because to, we should know the equal resistor and voltage. We will take it as VTH itself, because 7 voltage, it's the circuit looks like a 7 voltage, 7 circuit only. So now, if voltage I want to calculate, what how, what is the equation we will write it? First we will calculate the voltage. What's the voltage? That is V1, that is 200 divided by 50 plus 160 divided by 150 upon 40. Next is minus. Okay, you have to see this is the minus. It's minus, this is plus. This is plus. Plus. Here it is minus and this is 
plus. So now, okay, now this is minus 100 divided by 100 divided by 25. Here, here also same. This is minus, this is plus. This is plus. So it is minus 80 divided by 20. Okay. And divided by all upon what comes? 1 by R1. 1 by 50 plus 1 by 40 plus all the stress are in parallel. 1 by 25 plus 1 by 20. Now we will simplify which equals 200 divided by 200 upon 50. 4 plus 4 minus 4 minus 4. 1 upon 50 plus 1 upon 40 plus 1 upon 25 plus 1 upon 20. Now if you see here, our denominator becomes, no, our numerator becomes 0. 0 divided by anything equal to 0. So the answer is 0 amps. That is I equal to 0 amps flows through this. So because of the Milbrand's theorem, we are able to calculate it. So friends, I hope all of you understood what is Milman's theorem. Uh, this is the part one. In the part two, we will solve some AC, AC signals questions also. That is sinus order questions for Milman's theorem. And some more complicated, some more practice problems. So all of you please subscribe the, subscribe the channel and share the video with you. Friends, thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.